Nice to meet me. I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. Where am I? What am I doing here? <laughs> I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. Hell yeah! Found you! This is bad. We need to get out of here. And that makes 16. Thanks for bearing with us! Huh? Where am I? What am I doing here? <laughs> Ever since I was a child, I would play the piano whenever I got bored. There were even times I played the piano so much that I would forget to eat and sleep. Eventually, I won trophies from concerts, and people started praising me. No, that's all I'm good for, really. A, a cage? A wall? Yoo-hoo! Rise and shine our sign! My cute little cubs! You gotta knock off this awful fighting! It's cause there's none worth remembering! After the blackened is punished, the rest of you will just keep right on living together. But this is a killing game! So the punishment for murder is a bit more... permanent. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. Upsie daisy. So Is there nothing else I can do? Hmm. 
My spirit is nearly broken. This hardship gnaws at me. Now, the special motive I prepared is called the First Blood Perk. I really want to get out of here with everyone. And to do that, I need your help. I'm begging you too. I'll do it for however long it takes. Look, you can see the staircase, right? By the way, can you see my, um, delicates? Uh, there we go. Oh, the grate came off pretty easily. We need to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. The look on his face when we caught him, I can still see it even now. He stared at me, like he hated me more than anything else in the world. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro, too? Ha! Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Miu Iruma. It's a drone! Hi, I'm Kaede Akamatsu. Ah, uh, jeez! I don't understand. Jeez. Sorry. Hey. It's no use. This isn't a game. That's a shame. Oh, that's super cool. It's actually an elevator. Even so, this elevator is going pretty far down. Uh, I suddenly have to go to the bathroom real bad. I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. So, fight for the truth, even if it is frightening. The sliding door in the AV room faces the rear door of the library. If you use the rolled-up screen to reach the library's rear door, then you can open it. It's just as I thought. See? The books are stacked like stairs from the vent to where Rantaro's body was found. I see, I see. The shot rolled on top of these books, eh? The shot was rolled into the classroom vent and came out in the library. If the vent was open, the shot would have maintained momentum. Punishment time is a sacred segment. You're not allowed to interfere. Kaede fought with her life on the line, and so will I. Gonta will face you all. Times like this are why Gonta became strong. This is the perfect chance to test out my Neo Aikido skills on machines! Clench your teeth! 
I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. I have to believe in myself. I won't be afraid anymore. I will face the truth for everyone. I won't give up for your sake, Kaede. I promise. From the bottom of my heart, I promise you, Kaede. Yep, that's our promise. I'm leaving everything up to you, Shuichi. Goodbye. Good morning. Listen up, because we got these here fabulous, nonsensical prizes for you. I don't want to live. All right, backed by popular demand. It's time for the Moody video! Kaito Momota, the ultimate astronaut! They miss their grandson terribly and hope he returns to them safe and sound. Their only wish is for Kaito to live. <laughs> what kind of accident? It's a secret! Find out for yourself! <laughs> I'm whipping up a rice bowl with chicken, egg, and spicy kimchi. It's only 1,000 calories. It's easy to make. Just cook fried chicken and eggs with rice. Top it with kimchi. Oh, and don't forget the mayo. Voila, bon appetit. Bam! How you like my culinary chaos? I never do push-ups. My arms are giving out. Hey, don't say that. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. <clears throat> I don't know what he's up to, but it's probably better not to be here. There you are. Hey, where are you going? Sorry, Shuichi, but I'm gonna run. I've still got things I need to do. No! Gonta no can let you leave. Sorry, but is for your own good. Morning, sleepyhead! You're finally up, Shuichi. Everyone, play nice! Ah, oh no! Himiko is being buried alive by insects! H Himiko, hold on! The more you yell, the more bugs can get into your mouth. <laughs> He's lighting up? Is he gonna self-destruct or... Right there. Thank you, Atua, for being with us today. <laughs> well then, let's begin. The amazing Himiko's magic show. Okay, I'm closing the curtain. Himiko is still not out. Uh, Gonta's starting to worry. Should we do something? Wait, Gonta? Oh, you can't do that! We're still in the middle of the show! Um, less than ten seconds remain.
Look! The piranhas! H hurry! The curtains! Open the curtains already! You can just barely reach the window with this. And if you open the curtain... Oh, the window is open! The window you can see from the pool is the window to Ryoma's lab. There was a curtain covering the tank during the performance. The staircase also has an escape hatch, one facing away from us. At the same time, she could have pulled out the body from inside the stairs. That way she'd have room to put herself in there. See how easy that is! Using that glass pane as a divider, a safe space could be created in the tank. The piranhas got crowded together, making it look like there were more of them. Mew was in her underwear, and Gonta got weird feeling. So Gonta ran away. Well, when he got the body of a goddess, it's only natural to want to flaunt it. I show my panties to the boys all the time. And I mean all the time. Our first topic is this! Ta-da! First, culprit hang rope outside of one window. Then, culprit move to other side and tie cable to other window. Then, after tying to each window, culprit tie rope and cable together. That how culprit make one rope that reach both windows. They handcuffed the body to the rope and slid it from one window to the other, like Tarzan! Listen up. Do a good job here, and I'll be able to put an end to this trial. The culprit used the ropes and the inner tube to construct a rudimentary ropeway and used it to move themselves and Ryoma's body from the lab to the gym. Once through the gym window, the culprit stood on the inner tube to move the body. Even if one tried to draw in the inner tube using the rope, the steep angle the rope would be at would make it nigh impossible. All right! Backed by popular demand, it's time for the motive video! Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. With clients in politics and finance, this elite maid is renowned for completing any request. She was suddenly summoned by one of her most influential clients, the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister had a request of utmost importance. He requested that she use her talent as the ultimate maid to serve her country. He asked Kirumi to make this country great again and transferred all his authority to her. Only Kirumi could save the country from impending doom. Yes, the future of the country rests entirely on her capable shoulders. But Kirumi is up to the task, for she only accepts requests that only she can fulfill. She is driven by the belief that her citizens are the most important people in her life. An unfortunate event will soon befall those vermin and sheeple. <coughs> what event, you ask? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> I was called upon to lift the country out of a dire situation. I swore to serve and help all its citizens. And then he turned his back toward me. He forfeited his life right then and there. All right! Backed by popular demand, it's time for the motive video! This message is for Ryoma Hoshi! the ultimate tennis pro. Unfortunately,
unfortunately, there is no one in the world who is important to you. I'm so sorry. Really, I am. You have my deepest sympathies. Sorry. 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 I will live. I refuse to die in a hellhole like this. Now then, I've prepared a special punishment for Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. For my nation. For my people. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! I will not die! You know, this is an interesting turn of events. But, but would you really kill me in front of everyone? Right? Miss Ultimate Assassin? What you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the scene. We are witnessing what looks like the end of the world. We're giving away a golden hammer, a magic key, and a ninja scroll as a prize bundle. Your body is seriously incredible. I've never seen one like this. They were so young and talented. How could this happen? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. 91, 92, 93, 94. We'll, we'll present, present it together! together. Hmm. Grandmas are nice. This is the Ultimate Academy Student Council, with Angie Yonaga as our president. Do you look up to that idiot? Mm -hmm. A red-eyed, black-haired god. Oh, what a cool god I have watching me. <laughs> the student council has decided that we will not use flashback lights anymore. Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I've placed here. Piece of cake! I have five-star flexibility! <laughs> I shouldn't have lied. I'm way too weak for this kind of stuff. <sighs> I'm tired. So, next, we cover the basket with a white cloth, right? I shall take that role. All right. Everything is prepared. Tenko, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, holy crap, this way's a ton! I could have used my magic to carry it easily, but seances and magic don't mix. Now we darken the room. Kokichi and Shuichi are closest to the candles. At last, at last, at long last. Young guard dog and little lost girl sealed within an iron cage. At mountain's bottom, within the darkness. At last, at last. At long last, how many will there be by dawn? Will there be two or just?
last one. Will the guard dog run far away? Or did it eat the little girl? At last, at last, at long last. Man. Now, I will remove the sheet. Oh? <laughs> the tangle! Thank you so much, my adorable darling cubs! <laughs> No way there's a curse! Don't screw around! You're the one who's screwing around. Do you want to die? I, Mui Ruma, the gorgeous girl genius, have installed a new function in Kibo. Just leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. That's right. If you spun the effigy, the rope it was hanging from would twist. Then, if you let it go, the rope would unwind and the effigy would spin the other way. I see. So the culprit used the katana's counterspin to push the lock into place? The cross piece at one end of the floorboard had been cut off. And those variables were defined by using the magic circle. The next cross piece would act as a fulcrum to turn the floorboard into a lever. A lever capable of lifting up Tenko's entire body. She was bent over, meaning the sickle's blade would have connected with her neck. Our culprit, Himiko, prepared her seesaw trap ahead of time. Then she waited for me to host the seance, and suggested the middle room. Ready? From your mouth? Well, Shuichi, do you notice anything? So she went to go get a candle from one of the empty rooms. And that's when the culprit attacked her. That's why there was dried blood under floor. I believe that while Kiel was setting up the seesaw, he was holding the board. When Angie walked in. And he cold cocked her with the floorboard! I love her with all my heart. And she loves me with all her heart. Oh, how I long for my sister's warmth. Is she hard to carry, Gunta? No, she fine. Damn it. No way am I gonna die here. Hey there. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? This killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Oh, there is... One more thing. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. You wanted this killing game, so you have to win, no matter what. Monotaro's head is busted! One solid rock should make him remember! Ta-da! The legendary Levy Stone, the priceless Octo Brush, and a card key, which just so happens to be the motive too. Huh? 
How would you like it? A little stronger, maybe? I'm in a bit of financial trouble. If only someone could help me out. One, two, three. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. When you really think about it, the universe is impossibly vast. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. If you keep acting like this, I'm gonna knock your senses back into you! Let's talk about Maki. For some reason, kids like me, but I'm not particularly fond of taking care of them. I adapted to the lifestyle of killing people, of stealing their lives, and of being a horrible person. For example, what blood type do you like? What blood type do I like? Don't you mean, what's my blood type? Hmm? Did I say something weird? Well, whatever. <laughs> I wanna talk about it. Just don't shove them into the wrong hole. And yes, that is what she said. This stinky little computer is no match for my hands! Ugh! His hands are going at such an intense speed that the friction is creating fire! Is this a record of who went in and out of the virtual world? Uh, so the red cord goes in the right side and the blue cord in the left, yeah? Right is the hand I hold my chopsticks with. I... Gotta be sure to get it right. We all saw Mew drop the sign and watch the river carry it downstream. But that's not where we found it. We found it near the mansion, nestled in some rocks. But if that wall happened to be the one that Mew set to allow objects through... I see. It's a wall only non-humans can pass through. The only way it could do that is if the wall was a warp zone. But it's not, right? Exactly. To put it another way, the river isn't cut off at the wall near the chapel. It's all part of one big loop. The upstream part of the river is connected to it. When a character goes off the left side of the screen and reappears on the right... We thought the loading point was in the middle of the map. But the loading point was actually at the edges. Only Mew was able to go through that wall. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. Then you're saying the culprit sent Mew's avatar through that wall? The truth is, Gonta and I worked together. We formed a duo to end this killing game. As the Killing Game Busters! What busters? So I would have had to kill her instantly, such as stabbing or hitting. I couldn't have murdered her by strangulation, because it'd be game over if she touched me. However, I don't think the culprit actually tied it down there. They just hung it and then use the doubled-up toilet paper to climb down. But in that case, they would have had to tug on it in order to take it down. I can combine Gonta's consciousness from his last login with that leftover memory data. Ta-da! Alternate!
Alter Ego Gonta is now complete. <laughs> oh, man, did you fall for all that fake crying? I am the supreme leader of evil, so it's obvious my personality would be twisted. Oops, sorry. I tried to dodge you, but I punched you instead. It's nothing. My cold just got worse is all. It's almost time. Yeah, it's almost time. This should be enough. Now is the time. I'll end this killing game. <laughs> My adorable mono cubs. Why did those kids even exist? <laughs> Get two keys. This one is the last real key, and this one is the real last key. Well, what's the difference? If the press comes to a stop when it detects a person, what will happen if it detects me? Let's find out. Mm-hmm. Then next, it's... I can't die like this. Like hell am I gonna die here? If you don't want to be blown to pieces, then you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you. Tell us the truth. What are you scheming? Sixteen young and talented high schoolers were chosen for the Gopher Project. These Adams and Eves of the New World were known as the Ultimate Students. The sixteen Ultimate Students were sent off into space as humanity's last survivors. The Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles is actually a gigantic spaceship colony. What you guys just saw, that's Earth now. <laughs> as long as I have the master remote control, all Exosols move on my command. But now you know, right? There's no use defying me, the mastermind. They were the remnants of despair. If Kokichi is the leader, that means he controls the remnants of despair. Out of all of us, he is the closest to the ultimate despair. Class Trials, Monokuma, the students of Hope's Peak Academy. It's all just like Junko and Oshima's killing game. Don't shout, stupid! Kokichi will hear us! Wait, so what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. She knows that you would never give up, no matter how bad things got. Y yeah of course! I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars! Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. It's just... I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Shuichi, 
I leave the rest to you. What is this? What's going on? That's when I saw her walking toward the hangar, clutching something in her hands. I think it was a black bag. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Kaito and Kokichi were fighting each other. Do you love killing that much? Shut up, you asshole! <laughs> what? Kaito, can you hear me? Quick, drink this antidote! Sorry, but I can't die here. S stop Phew, I feel so much better. I guess that's a wrap. If you guys get it wrong and Monokuma gets it right, then you'll all get punished. There's no way I can let that happen. So, it's fine. Let's end this. At least I wasn't boring, right? Rise and shine, Earth sign! With our powers combined, we are the Monocasts! I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. It would fill me with the power of hope, guide me along the right path. I can't hear it anymore. All I hear now is silence. That silence means my will is now my own. I can't keep up with my classmates' conversations, or the teacher's lectures. Honestly, I'm fed up. But I'm okay. I have a reason to live. I've got something to look forward to. That's why I'm gonna be okay. Thanks for giving me something to get totally obsessed with. Please keep it brief. I have other matters I must attend to. Ah, didn't I tell you? It's impossible to end the killing game! Cause the killing game is forever eternal! Never forgive rule breakers! Anyone who messes with the killing game must die! Exosols, assemble! No, I won't let you run amok anymore. This killing game is over. Heroes don't die! Heroes, don't give up! All right! Back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video! Kokichi Oma, the ultimate supreme leader. He caused mayhem the world over as the leader of the secret organization, DICE. And by mayhem, I mean petty nonviolent crimes and harmless pranks. Anyway, Kokichi had ten loyal goons working for him. These goons were like friends and family, the most important people in his life. But then, 
a terrible event befell those precious people. <laughs> what kind of event? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> the fate of humanity? Yo, Shuichi! I heard you're finally gonna take part in the Gopher Project! <coughs> Are you okay? Are you sure you're not overdoing it? You're the one who's overdoing it. You should be resting at home. Found you! Just stay put. For now. Have you found what you are looking for? Are you ready to do what must be done, Shuichi? I have no idea what's going on, but messing with this robot is starting to bore me, so... I guess I'll hear you out. So, what is this other way? A class trial. We're all gonna do a class trial one last time. A, a class, class trial? trial? I see it. I'll print out this memory. Start talking now, or I'll squish you one by one. So when he died, I took it back. That's all. That required a bit of trickery on the Mastermind's part. They prepared their own shot to kill Rantaro and switched it with Kaede's shot. They took Kaede's shot put ball and stowed it in the hidden room. The culprit entered the hidden room from the girl's bathroom on the first floor. And with the help of Mother Kuma, watched the situation in the library unfold. As soon as they saw that Kaede's plan failed, they waited for the camera interval. And leaped out of the hidden room, shot put ball in hand. In any case, the culprit attacked Rantaro with a shot put ball, left it in the library, picked up the shot that Kaede had used, and returned to the hidden room. Yes, then they left the monopad and the shot in the hidden room, headed into the passageway, and returned to the girl's bathroom. Cause Jun Junko and Oshima is... Right the fuck here! New mysteries and truths turn to motivation. Motivation drives a story. Everything from the flashback lights was just motivation to move you forward. Every person in the outside world watching this is a huge Danganronpa fan. Everyone loves the killing games. This killing game is for everyone. So it's everyone's killing school semester. Starting with the Hope's Peak Academy arc in Danganronpa 1, 2, then 3. The seasons just kept coming, and with it came more killing games. Until it transcended games and anime to become this. The ultimate real fiction!
And now, we're in the 53rd season of Dongon Rumpa! I'm also a part of Team Dongon Rumpa. We make the finest killing entertainment. Everyone enjoys our work oh so much! And our newest project is Dongon Rumpa V3! Killing Harmony! Number 154. My name is... I promise, if I get selected, I will work as hard as I can. I'm perfect for a killing game. I don't have any faith in humanity. I'm not just gonna be in Ranpa. I'm gonna kill everybody and win! Once I've got fame and fortune, I don't gotta worry about what's impossible. I hear your voices, crystal clear. Are the eyes of the audience itself! The outside world has been watching from your eyes the whole time! It lets them feel like they're really a part of the Danganronpa world! And it's all thanks to you! Even if this is fiction, even if we're all fictional, the pain in my heart is real. The sadness I feel when I lose the people I love is real. It's the will of the outside world. Destroy this entire fictional world and end the killing game. That is what the outside world wants. Well, easy there. You gotta stay still, all right? Hey, Rantaro. Th that tickles. What? Why? But I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars! Whoa! That was so awesome, Ryoma! Winning at something like this isn't anything to brag about. Miss Tenko, how is the oil massage? Ah, <sighs> my whole body feels like it's melting away. Kiddo me! More tropical punch, please! Ugh, what a pain. Nya! Ha ha! They're so big, Tsumugi! Do you mind if I touch them? What? I mean, it's embarrassing if you touch them. It would just be a waste of magic to grow them that big anyway. Don't worry, they're nicely shaped. Beauty is way better than size, anyway. They thought I was cosplaying that character. Next up, we're gonna do 100 cool magic show poses. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you. My name is Rantaro Ma. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment. I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Mui Ruma! I'm Gokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kibo. Um, Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Gonta want to become gentlemen, becoming true gentlemen, Gonta's goal. I'm Shuichi Saihara. They call me the ultimate detective, but... <gasps> My name is Tsumugi Shirogami. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. My name is Kurekyo Shinguchi. I am called the ultimate anthropologist. Oh yes! I'm Tango Shabashira! Yeah!
the ultimate Aikido master. I am Kirin Toto, the ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my service. Maki Harakawa, ultimate child caregiver. Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. Prepare to be amazed. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeno, the ultimate mage. But I'm officially called the ultimate magician. My name is Anji Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. Monokuma joins your party! The diva of despair takes the stage once more! Junko Enoshima, the 53rd! So I will trust the outside world! I will trust in hope!
kill now. What? Yeah? Another thing. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah! It is now 8 a.m. So long. Farewell. Is all that remains of a once upon a Bedtimer sign. Daddy! You're on the threshold of the adventure, Shogai. This is an official announcement. Funny. I need you. 
you. I want you. You're on the threshold of an amazing yeah. Yeah. Monotaro. That's all. 